Utau community. This isn't technically just for Utau, that's why I said it's an Utau related tutorial, but whatever. So, <clears throat> as many of you know, there's a site called AXFC. Most Japanese people use this when they upload banks, USTs, everything. Now, in light of the recent events, with mega upload closing, and now sites like the two biggest sites in overseas for uploading voice banks and USTs, for shared and Mediafire, they're going under investigation. A bunch of other sites are either closing, shutting down US connection, <clears throat> um, getting rid of files. It's crazy. And now we're all panicking, of course. XFC is a good alternative. Not perfect, of course, but it works. Especially for me, like, for me, for some reason, I have trouble uploading to Mediafire and Foreshared. AXFC's never failed me. Also, I don't know, the Japanese, you know how to use the site, so maybe that'd do something for getting your voice bank out there. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> so, <coughs> I'm going to teach you all how to upload things onto AXFC. Then all the limitations and rules of this site. Now, of course, the website is AXFC.net. To upload, you go to AXFC Uploader, and you click here. <clears throat> you don't need to actually an account for AXFC. Anyone can upload account, upload things. Anyone can delete things off of it too, though. So you have to be careful with stuff. Now you scroll down to get to the uploaders. <clears throat> AXFC is kind of neat in how it does it by how big your file is. So if you're uploading USTs, it'll probably be within these. Voice banks will be, I don't know, in this area. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, <I'm clears throat> my throat hurts a little bit. So anyways, you gotta go find out what size your voice bank is that you're uploading. I probably should have uploaded a voice bank earlier. I'll probably have to do a time skip in the middle of this video from when I started uploading to when I finish uploading. Whenever I start tutorials, I'm so ill-prepared. Anyways. <clears throat> so you go, click it, you find out what size it is. This is 80 megabytes. For caution, I'm going to probably go to the 80 to 100 size. There it is, sulfur. You click the uploader. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll eventually load. My computer is really slow. Here you can see like a bunch of files that have been uploaded recently. So what you want to go to is this second one, file post. Then you click here. Now this is the page where you may want to go to Google Translate. Even I forget what's on this page sometimes. So I'm going to just go ahead and open this. Come on, load. God, I hate the new Google design. Ah. There we go. So, yeah, copy paste. <clears throat> Just do this if you can't remember what each thing means. I do know one thing. <clears throat> okay, so, oh, but I need to explain this worrisome thing up top. Now, AXFC works by, it has a limit, actually. Like, once it's full to capacity, <clears throat> each uploader, every time a new item is submitted, the old item, the oldest item is taken out. So your file actually will not last forever here. You need to re-upload it every year or so. It says it right here. It like has a fifteen thousand well, fi <coughs> sorry, fifteen thousand capacity. This is how many files are in there. So, it's estimated that you will have four. Your file will be on this site for four hundred thirteen days. Now, with a voice bank, if you are continually updating, that should not be a problem. You should be keep uplo uploading banks. However, I would check like 
every year or so if you're just keeping a bank up there for a long time. This is how Japanese banks sometimes disappear. They just never re-upload to here on AXFC, <clears throat> and they disappear. So yeah, even though it says 413, I would check every year, maybe more often. That your file is still valid. So, over here, we're going to <coughs> oh, sorry. choose your type. It's probably a zip or a rar. Mine's a rar. Yeah, if yours is like 80 megabytes like mine is, I just go to the 80 to 100, not do the 60 to 80, just to be safe. Here you can enter a description if you want to. And people, even though this is Kaisho's 0.1 beta, I'm not re I, I'm not releasing it yet. I just wanted to do a couple more tweaks, then send it out. Oh my god, quit doing that. <coughs> Here, you can enter email address to send it to a person. <coughs> I don't really do that. Now, you can click this box if you want a really short URL, but whatever. You could do that with a tiny URL if you want to. <clears throat> now, like I said earlier, anyone can remove files off of AXFC. So you may want to put a remove password, so only you can remove this file. So, there's my remove password. <clears throat> and then download, download keyword. Lots of banks have these. You can either make a link have the keyword on it, <coughs> or you can just say what the keyword is. So I'm going to make one too. <coughs> and then, maximum number of downloads is really good if you're just, like, doing it really short and temporary. Like, you know you're just giving this voice bank to three friends, so you can set that number to three. <coughs> Keep it blank, though, if it's just going to be, you know, a voice bank, give it to everybody. Publishing date's kind of useful, I guess. If you want to have it have an expiration date or a date that it will be released and stuff like that, I don't really use that at all. Like, I want it to be on the site as soon as it's published. <clears throat> now, finally, this little last checkbox. You click it if you are, like, let's say with back with my three example, only a couple people are going to download it. It tells the website that... This file will be used up quickly. It could stay, you can have this space for other time. <clears throat> I'm going to click this since I'm only going to download it once for this tutorial, but generally for voice banks, you don't want to click it. Now you go and click the first option. <coughs> now here's where you select your file for computer. You generally want to do this on the actual Japanese page and not the translated Google Translate. Because Google Translate, like, stops after a little while. It can't keep translating. Why did I go down this far? Ah. No. <coughs> Why do I always do tutorials when I'm slightly ill? Oh, I know what I should have done. I should have chosen something small to upload. Oh, well. Click here. So, so you have the false locks, you click this option. Now, on the side, it starts to load. You can click this, and it will keep refreshing and telling you how far it's gotten. Here's the rate, here's how much you have of it uploaded, and here's the percentage. I think this is an estimated time. I'm not 100% sure, like 18 minutes, 58 seconds. Yeah, I think it's saying 18, 22, I don't know. I, you get the idea. So when it's fully uploaded, it should redirect you, but however, sometimes it's a but, so it doesn't. So you can just um, click this button and go to a new tab with it, and here your file should be, here I'll do it real fast. Nope. Here. No, wait, there. Good, the roundabout way. <clears throat> when your file is uploaded, maybe it isn't redirecting you because it's being stupid or, or something. 
you can generally go to this page and you can see your upload as part of the new uploads and you can click it and get the link yeah these things so now at this point since we have to wait practically half an hour for this to upload I am going to pause and resume this video when it's close to being done well I'm already past 10 minutes sorry there <clears throat> okie dokies so it's been about 45 minutes to an hour Ah, don't freeze up internet, no. Sorry. And, yeah, there you go. You just saw it was like at 97 percent, and then it just redirected me. Yay, it redirected. If it doesn't redirect, remember what I said to go the roundabout way to go back to the uploader and find your link in the box. Anyways, so, here are, yeah, okay. So, these are your links, these top two. Well, the ones that say ID. The first one is just the bare link, right here. With all big files uploaded, you of course have to do the little image check. Those aren't on the smaller uploads that are like 10 megabytes. You enter your keyword, your code, you can start downloading. Then there's the one, you can choose the second option that already has the code attached to the URL, the key. So it pre-enters it for people. So, here's your link. You can copy and paste this link anywhere you want. You can shorten it with tiny URL. Now your bank is uploaded on an AFXFC. If you want to delete it, let me see, I don't remember. You have to click this first option to delete it. And then, if you did secure a password, you type in the password here, and these seem to both lead to the same place. So I don't want to delete the file because I want to show you how to download, for those of you who still don't know how to download off of AXFC. So you type in the key you remembered making to delete the file to delete it. That's good if you like you did a minor update to the voice bank and you don't want the old link being out there anymore. So now we're going to download this file. Do the image check. No. Nope. Oh my god, did I just click enter? Ah. Uh, if you messed up, of course, go back. No. You click this once you've typed in the stuff. You click here to t <laughs> some English. Start there. And then you click this. That's your voice bank. So now, when you post your AXFC link, if anyone has trouble accessing it, you can easily um, instruct them how to go through the process. Let's just delete this file now so I can show you, and so this file will not be up anymore, and you can't get this voice bank yet. <laughs> so type in your pass. And this says that you deleted it, so it's gone now. So that's how you upload and download off of AXFC. Remember, check your links every year to make sure they're still valid and still up there. Make sure to put a password so no one can just delete it if they want to. Putting a key on your files can help you not have them downloaded by robots or whatever. And hopefully you can get used to the interface and you won't have to Google Translate everything every time. So yeah, remember, just go to axfc.net. This is a pretty good alternative uh, to Mediafire, Foreshared, and all the other sites that now we're really concerned about. So hope this tutorial helped and hope it was informative. This is Shinami. We.